Freixo de Baixo still stands today as a leading symbol of the monastic complex established by the manorial power and taken over by the canons regular of St. Augustine. Deployed along a watercourse in a fertile valley, the monastery still impresses the visitor today. The persistence of the foundations of the original Galilee and traces of the original cloister, along with a stout bell tower, gives this set an unusual monumentality in the panorama of Romanesque architecture in Portugal. The facade is the best preserved element of the primitive church. Reinforced by two corners, it features a sturdy portal whose archivolts are decorated with dihedral logs. The capitals feature animals facing each other, phytomorphic and botanic motifs, and branding similar to São Pedro de Ferreira in Passaus de Ferreira and Salvador de Paso de Souza in Penafiel. Inside the church, the prominently frescoes stands out, visible on the south wall of the nave beside the pulpit. It is a scene of the Epiphany of the Lord, attributed to the master of 1510, who took part in making the paintings of Villa Verde de Pombiero in Felgueras and the ones of St. Nicholas in Marco de Canavesas 